CataractCoach.com. Cataract quiz. Why the sudden cataract? So this construction worker just all of a sudden developed a cataract out of nowhere. Young patient, let's say about 30s, and the patient was working, doing construction work, and hammering away, and just, I don't know, a little irritation in the eye, didn't know what happened, and then a few days later, maybe even a week or two later, developed this total cataract. Why? Think about it. Here's the tripan blue dye going in. What do you see there? Do you see something? There's a little violation of the central capsule, and look carefully, what do you think you're going to find there in that violated capsule? What's the most common cause, at least in the USA, of an intraocular metallic foreign body? It's hammering. Using a metal hammer to hit a metal nail, a little tiny sliver can be instantly shot off. And these are such tiny little slivers, and they're such high velocity, they can puncture the eye, you don't even know it. And at the end of the cornea at a little bit of an angle, they can even make a little tunnel in the cornea that's self-sealing. So this patient has a metallic intralenticular foreign body. Let's watch carefully. You'll see it. Now, fortunately, the puncture in the capsule is right in the center. And so the rest of the capsule looks fine. So you can get a nice capsule rex. And the question is, did it violate also the posterior capsule? Well, hopefully not because the, the foreign body is still in the lens itself. It's inter, intralenticular. Now here, do a little bit of gentle vacuum. I'd be very cautious. You want to get that piece. You want to just bring it up. That metallic piece, and just get it out of the eye. Maybe coat it in some viscoelastic, grab with force. But there it is. Look at that thing. It's a little bit blocked by that Purkinje light reflex. But there is definitely a metallic foreign body. Look at that thing right there. Now you see it. A metallic foreign body right there inside the lens. Don't let that fall back. So here it is. Can you aspirate it down the phaco tip? Sure, I guess. You can just aspirate it down. But there, now you saw it. Ooh, okay, it's gone. So look how tiny of a little sliver that was. And again, in the USA, you'll notice if you look at your hammers, go to your local hardware store or Home Depot, you'll see the hammers all have a warning label on them that says you must use safety glasses. So that was good legislation that was passed that you've got to have safety glasses whenever you use a hammer. And so in this case, let's watch for the posterior capsule. And hopefully it's going to be intact. But yeah, the number one cause for the, with the construction work, you, you knew it by history, it's hammering. When the hammer hits a metal nail, pow, a tiny sliver of metal can shoot off. And look at that, a normal posterior capsule. Sometimes you got to believe in miracles. That looks fantastic, beautiful. Now, if the foreign body did go back in vitreous cavity, then what? Well, that's retinarounds.com. Guess what? That's our channel. Have you figured out who the mystery host is? The mystery host is going to be revealed on the last Sunday in February 2025. He's going to be our podcast guest number 100. And then starting in March, you're going to have retina rounds every day. Great retina cases for retina specialists, but also for us non-retina specialists so we can learn too. We all want to learn together here. Now, here comes the lens. You can just put it right in the capsule bag. Let's see what's going on here. Viscoelastic being removed from behind it. I do like the idea of a three-piece lens here. It gives you more options in the future. Let's say you missed something and maybe there was a break in the posterior capsule or even if you're doing this and what if the capsule splits wide open? Well, you can easily convert it to a sulcus lens with the haptics now. Let's take a look. Is that in the bag or do you think the haptics are in the sulcus? I was talking too much and not paying enough close attention. Let's see. Um, no, it looks like it's all in the bag, right? I think the whole thing's in the bag. There's no optic capture with the haptics and sulcus. In the whole th the lens in the bag. There you go. And you see the wrinkle in the posterior capsule. There's a way of getting that out, you know. Check out the counter website. Search for that. I promise you'll find it. It's a really cool trick.